Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our spelunk through of Dark Cloud. So we just started Madataki Village. Obviously, you can see we can't get into the shop yet. We need the entryway. Um, we don't even have anybody. We have one person, but we don't have his house. We have Pow. Uh, we don't have his house, so I can't really introduce myself. We got the earth, and we got some river, and we met Goro. And we got our mission from the Fairy King saying, Hey, you need to connect the river. So you can talk to the tree, and so he can help you on your quest. So that is our mission. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for joining me on this as we continue through Wise Owl Forest to get to the Moon Village. All right, let's go. And I love the music. I think this has this is my favorite dungeon music. Thirsty. that, which put her goos you, I think. And they have this lunge attack that they do. And it's just a pain in the derriere. Next, we need Shell to jump across. Okay, Tuesday. does enough damage to take on these guys. This is generally where you run into uh, her, my favorite weapon for her, this is usually where I get Steve from at least a bandit slingshot is in this forest. I only ever get weapons for towing in the Divine Beast Cave. I think once or twice I've gotten some of them from different characters, but not that often. Yes, I know you're thirsty. the item we need. I mean, these things are so easy because they don't block. They have two attacks. They have that spitting attack, which obviously is easy to avoid with a ranged character. And then they have one where you're up close where it spins its thorny leaves there. Its whips, I guess. And those hit you if you have a melee character. that many enemies in this area that I hate. The flea fleas, obviously, and then there is a mole creature. I guess there's three. There's a mole creature that is later on that you run into, and then there's a uh, witch who throws poisoned apples at you. Those are all a pain in the derriere. E area. So we need magic power. That was one of the things I remember. As well as Beast Killer, but we don't have any Beast Killers, so that's what we have. Might as well put it in and check our progress. Nope. Yep. Alright, we have enough magic power. We need attack power, thunder, and beast killer. Oh no, we're getting thirsty. What a tragedy. Stairway. Not bad. We need the entryway. Kululu? Nope. Drink. Onwards. Spit. Now you're dead. It's rude to spit at people. Hey, shiny stones. We have two of the three items we need to advance to the next level. I thought I was rotating around it. My bad. Sorry, Toe. 
that's my fault. Like the key that we need is going to be up there. Each shell again. And that's really annoying on these floors too, is when everything is so spread out and they have the water thing. It's just like, why? No? Ooh, let's swap out before she gets really hurt. seen any amulets yet. No antidote amulet, no anti-curse amulet, anti-freeze, anti doom anti None of it. Great. Torch. To swap. So we don't need damage ticking away too often. Let's see if he wants one of the two we have. Shiny stone. No, he doesn't. Do you want a pointy chestnut? Yeah, you do. Cool. So if we did get all of the Adlamilia here, we could just leave. There's nothing saying that we have to stay, but we don't have all the Adlamilia yet. Boink. Alright. Come on, chow. Let's get through this. See what I mean about that? Make sure your weapon's repaired. Atla left. That is very sad. Mustache key. Give me one of these. Premium water. You can do it, Shell. I believe in you. Heck yeah. That's our little kitty cat. I was thinking it was going to drop. But... Oh, we don't need it. What am I doing? We don't need the uh, red berry. Because we already used it. Sign. Alright, we are going to be leaving. Because we need to go get an antidote drink to take care of this. Which means we have to go back to Norm Village because we don't have uh, Mr. Mustache's shop finished. And away we go. Alright, leave the dungeon temporarily. Just so we can get that lovely antidote drink. Give it to Towen. Did we pick up any river? We did not. We picked up exactly nothing we needed. <laughs> great. That's great. So let's let's go back to Norman Village so we can pick up more supplies. I I thought I was a little bit more prepared than I actually was when it came to going into that stupid forest. Turns out I was wrong. Gaffer, I need some stuff. My dude. My man. My main man. 
Alright. Um, no new bait for us to sell. But we do need more Rota. Antidote drink would be lovely. We have revival powder, escape powder. Why don't we stand in powder? That is not good. <laughs> And it looks like everything else is in order, so back we go whoops, to the forest. Why is Al Forest here we come for Territory 3? Some of that good territory. Maybe have Mr. Mustache, a little bit of the stuff he needs to finish his shop. You know, that'd be fantastic. I would approve of that message. I already have Thursday coming at me. I'm thinking it's all Friday and shit. Yes, there is a Friday. Uh, I don't know if we've seen it yet. Have we seen Friday yet? I don't think so. I'm sure there's a meaning behind calling them Greek. See this here? The most useless item in the game. A stone. It sells for one Gilda, and when you throw it at something, it does one damage. Doesn't matter what you throw it at, could be a cave back, could be a dragon. It's one damage. Yeah. Most useless item in the game. We found it! I don't even remember what I was saying before that. That's how angry that made me. Oh yeah, it was about Friday. Yeah, there, there, there's every day of the week is an enemy. I don't know why they did that. I, I don't know the story behind why those enemies are called what they're called. But I'm sure there is one. Hey, regular water. As opposed to tasty or premium. A water mill. We like watermills because when you finish those and put them on the river, you get gourd. You get one gourd per watermill. I think there's three. It might be two. But it could be three. Which is very good. As we saw in the previous territory slash floor. I can't deplete very quickly. Come on, please, 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 please. Steve! Yeah! Alright, so we need to finish leveling up that wooden slingshot up to five so we can status break it and get it into Steve. Another torch. I think every house needs a torch, and every like, uh, water mill needs a torch. Because everybody here is afraid of the dark. And my favorite character champion from League of Legends would say that you're wise. It's my favorite character in League of Legends is Nocturne. One of his, his voice lines is afraid of the dark. Wise. Yeah. I love League of Legends. I'm terrible at it, but I do enjoy it. I enjoy the champions. I enjoy that they are starting to commit more time to lore in the game. Uh, more attention to it. More stories are being told. It makes me happy. Alright. Uh, let's repair this weapon. And let's use Shao a little bit more. I want to get this slingshot up to plus five to status break it to put it in a good old Steve. So, get used to hearing her annoying attack thing. Yikes. I don't remember if I said it or not, but that's one of the reasons why my friend back in the day did not like using her. Is because when you attack with her, her little, I guess, cry, you could call it. I don't know, battle cry, whatever. Is, it does get annoying. I mean, it can get annoying if you're letting it annoying, but, you know, whatever. Standing powder. Great! I was a wasted 60 Gilda. Thanks, game. <laughs> Real pals. Real pals. A branch. I mean, we're surrounded by them. I can just pick one up. Oh, you give me Mr. Mustache. I want Mr. Mustache. Oh, I'm so good. I am the treasure whisperer. Good. Enemies for us to 
absorb their powers. as it is to watch, it's that much more boring to actually do it. But it, it needs to be done so that I can turn Xiao into someone that is actually fun to use. Oh yeah, King Prickly's super annoying. But, rather easy to kill. Because you see the red dot, and you're like, alright, where is it? And if you don't lock on, you don't find it until it drops right on your noggin. Your third sundew in three levels? Are you kidding me? Potato cake! That's fishing bait. Yep, fishing bait. So we'll sell that. I am not dedicating any time at all to fishing at this point. Is so frustrating and just it's not it's not rewarding when you get a fish it's like it, it's almost like it's worse than ocarina of time when you fish in that because at least there's a little fanfare you get a little something in return in this you get a fish you get fishing points and you turn them oh i never went to tell uh, show you guys what it's not gonna be doing, I'm not gonna be doing it but i never showed you guys what the prizes are and the prizes the amount of fishing points you need? Ugh, it's kind of exorbitant. That's a college word. It's a lot. It's too high. The price of prizes from fishing are too damn high. And he wanted the berry. Fine. We're gonna keep going here, because... <laughs> We didn't get anything. We didn't get anybody's house. We got a lot of parts. We got a lot of junk. And we didn't get any river. And we got a shower level. Oh, oh, of course we did. Oh, boy. Let's play through. I mean, if you can't go wrong, it's been going wrong. Failing quick time events, getting hit by Tran for the first time in years. And I, I play through this game once every few years, so. I just broke one of my cardinal rules. The weapon was beeping, and I decided to go for it anyway. Hmm. That's a big no-no. Should I just switch to Steve? Or no, I, I need to take advantage of whatever experience I can get. Fire gym for the King Prickly. Ah, I got him in an animation loop. That's funny. Holy mo- See what I mean? Ah, oh, 304 Gilda gone. Oh. See, I thought there was enough space between the King Prickly and the treasure chest. Boy, was I wrong. Man. All right. All right. All right. All right. See, that's what happens when you die. It's all, it was, it's scripted. I did that on purpose. I wanted to show you what happens when you die in a level where you're forced to use one character and one character only. That's what happens, folks. See? You see? Uh, this is a very full and comprehensive playthrough. I'm showing you guys everything. Except for fishing, because fuck fishing. <clears throat> what do we got in here? Holy. Yeah, but you see what I was saying about those King Pricklies? I, normally they're easy, right? But I misjudged where it was going to drop down on. Oh, gosh, dude. 
Yeah, I, I, I promise. I'm good at this game. I promise. I know things in this game. Just today is not my day. It's the universe punishing me for missing a week. That's what it is. All playing with fate. I only have two repair powders left, too. Alright, well, we're gonna do this level, and that'll be the episode, because I need to take a break. <laughs> This is the fourth episode I'm recording today. I haven't eaten anything but a donut. In a maple bar. I mean, yeah, it's a good donut. That's all I've had to eat today. And I am going to do the entire floor. Against my better judgment, I'm going to do the entire floor and get all of the experience I can get for her. Um, oh, it looks like we're going to need to do that too because he wants the pointy chestnut, and we don't have that yet. Throw all the flea fleas at me, you want game. Just not any witches, please. I don't think we see witches until the fifth uh, territory. I want to say. I hate those things. Because you hit them. Oh my gosh. You hit them. Oh my gosh. You hit them, and then they warp away. And then obviously they throw poisoned apples at you. So it's just a. Uh, it's, 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 it's a merry grand old time, let me tell you. Gosh, I might need to switch to Steve. Because we're almost out of repair powder, so I'm going to take this down as far as I can before we run out of repair powder. Uh, and I'm hoping we can get at least a level What happens when you don't grind? I haven't done any grinding. Everything is just a little bit more difficult. Standing powder. Well, that would be great to have if uh, if we could have Toe and stand in. But thanks to a mysterious power given to us by Simba. Thanks, Simba. Also, that's the only mention of his actual name in the game. encourage you to grind in this game. I really do. I, I really do. This is just ridiculous. I may as well talk her off over here. For me. Um, since we're here, since these don't pose as great of a threat to me as the pricklies do, right? Um, in 
actually, you know what? If I was using Steve right now, this wouldn't be as difficult, but because I want to get this thing up to plus five and right and put it into Steve, that's why things are different. Oh my gosh. Okay, yes, we need to be very careful when we open things. Making sure that exclamation mark is above her head before I do anything. Is there a big treasure chest in this last room? Because if there's not, we're out of here. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. No, there's not. It's just a magic crystal. Son of a... Oh, that's... Oh, did you... Oh, did you guys see that? I was stuck for a second there. Out of here. I'm gonna call the episode here because I need to take a quick break. Wait. That's what we do. See, I'm all fuzzled and frizzled and frazzled. Get me out of here. Take your chestnut and let me out of here. Please. Let me out of here. made it through a shell level territory, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to do a quick check here to see if we have any river. We do not. We don't even have any houses. Goodness gracious. Adventure day five afternoon. Whew. Okay. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to North village and get a little bit of a supply and action going on here. And I'm going to end the episode here, so thank you all so much for struggling through this episode with me. If you're enjoying this playthrough, please do consider hitting that subscribe button, like the video, comment, all of that good stuff helps out a ton. You already know this if you watch YouTube at all. And I'll see you guys next time when we continue our spelunk through Dark Cloud. Do take care.